All right, guys, welcome back to the city of uh, Pine Harbor. We are in downtown today. Um, in the past couple of episodes, the city has been growing pretty rapidly, and I think that's gonna continue moving forward. So uh, now we're just gonna prettify some things that I think we could uh, improve on. And uh, the first thing is this uh, roundabout in the uh, it's uh, right on the edge of downtown and the fishing harbor and some of its related industries and this park. Um, and uh, it, it looks all right. Um, like the, the, the basics of the roundabout is a part of the map and then I've just sort of detailed it up a bit. But I think it's time that we create something new entirely. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get going with that. Now I think I should probably preface this by saying that I'm by no means an expert in like uh, how roads function or the rules of the roads and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm not really an expert in the tools I'm gonna use either. So uh, just just be aware that there are, there are more skillful people out there. But uh, I think I have enough knowledge to get something satisfying. Um, so yeah, we of course start off with uh, demolishing the whole thing. Uh, poor guy. And then we're gonna pick some roads. Um, let's see. Now I want this downtown road to kinda... We want the roundabout... Let's see, let's just turn off snapping. So it's gonna be at a bit of an angle because it spawns, it sort of spawns from this downtown road. We can change up the angle just a tiny bit. So let's do like this. Cool. And then I don't know if there's a more clever trick these days. These days I sound so old, damn. But, <laughs> but I'm just going to, uh, you know, draw out some roads uh, like so and We'll use those to create the roundabout. So we'll go out by three. Yes, and we'll go out by three here, and then we can go down by three and out by three. Wait, that's not right, is it? This three and three once more. This is not three, is it? So we already we already got a bit of a problem here. This is free, cool. And we'll do like this, and we'll do like that, and then we've got ourselves a roundabout, which we can of course move ever so slightly if we want to. So let's see, is this the perfect place, or should we just? Yeah, we're gonna move it a bit like this. There you go. So it's going to be a bit bigger than before. But hopefully it's also going to be a bit more efficient. So let's just uh, drag this road. And I think I'm just going to move you out of the way. And we'll drag it out here and then there. And then get that back in place. Let's see if everything's fine here. Yes. This, although these are, I'll need to move these a bit. Oops, just move this out of the way. We'll keep these these small small bushes, and we can surface painter this a bit up, I think. And then yeah, let's just remove these bushes. I think they're probably a little too big to uh, <laughs> to grow here, since there isn't any. It's all concrete by now by now all pavement at least all right so far so good and we'll use this road as well to i know i can just turn off some anarchy and i wouldn't have to do this but there you go there you go we'll place this here and we'll just jump into our tool here and We'll uh, slope it a bit. No, oh, sorry, that's wrong. Oof. Okay. 
will rotate it like so. Cool. And then we can drag it back a bit. All right, we'll probably have to fix that up afterwards. All right, so this is uh, starting to look all right. Let's upgrade this and no, this road is fine and this road is fine. Perfect. But we'll need the one ray roads, of course, in the actual roundabout. So we are adding them here. And this makes it a little more slender as well. And we can now remove these. Cool. So far, so good, I think. Uh, we should probably just curve this error so slightly. There you go. Is this square? Hmm. We can adjust it. <laughs> for, for now, it's fine. Let's grab our node controller and let's just uh, let's just stretch this. So let's see. We would like to bring this back. Fifteen is that fine? Sixteen, and then we'll just adjust these ones to 16 as well and what i'm doing is i'm i'm clicking on uh, this and then i'm holding shifts and then i can move it in increments and i'm doing the same here so selecting first and then holding shift and just dragging and 16 and I'm, I'm, there must be a better way to do this yeah, like I said, no expert in these mods. I'm really just trying to learn as we as we go along. Cool. If I select, let's see, can I? Yeah, that sloped it a bit. Got auto slope on when I select. Cool. Looks like we got ourselves a bit of a roundabout here, actually. And let's add bad back. Sorry, some of the pavement which uh, was removed before. Let's increase the brush size. There you go. Something like that. Very nice. All right, with the with these basics covered, it's time we um, we use the intersection marking tool to make it uh, look a little better and also make more sense for the traffic because currently you don't really have strong markings, so it could turn into a mess if you enter this roundabout. So let's see, if you come here, you should be able to enter both of these lanes, I think. Where if you enter the inner one, it's because you want to turn and drive into downtown. And if you enter the outermost lane, you want to continue to the beach. So we'll click and hold down shift again to get like this line. Very nice. And if you are in this outermost lane, you can only turn uh, right. And if you're in the inside lane, you can go through the roundabout. So I think we can click this and hold down shift and mark that like then, like that, sorry. Now, if you come from this innermost lane, you should be able to stick to the innermost lane, of course, if you want to make like a full circle. But you should also be able to enter the outermost lane if you want to go to the beach. So we'll do like this. Cool, 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 cool. And now we can actually make our first filler. Because we don't want people to think they can drive here. Because there wouldn't be a, a reason to. Uh, unless you should be able to actually go from the innermost lane. Oh, I don't think so. So we'll hold down Alt and then we'll drag out our filler. Like so. And then I just, I love to use the grass fillers. Um, in many places you would probably just have some line markings here. But yeah, I like this. So we give it a curve size of uh, 0.1 meters and a corner ratio of 0.1 meters, and then I reduce the elevation to 0.1 meters as well. All right, that looks nice. Now I don't want these lines to be uh, solid. So what I'll do is I'll pick this one and then I'll set up a rule 
so that uh, this line can actually have two separate types of uh, of markings. So I'll say add rule, and then I'll say this rule will sorry it will start from here, and it will move to here. Uh, and we want it to be let's see. This is overlapped by another rule, is it? Oh, can I? Sorry, should I do like this instead? There you go. Then we'll add a rule from here to here. And I don't want it to be solid. So I'll move this down to... I like these small ones. <laughs> cool. So, so far, so good. Uh, we'll do the same with this line. So we'll add from here here so this is the solid part and then we'll add another rule from here to here where we will actually just copy this marking and add it here nice now as you guys can see uh, these um, one-way roads without parking they have uh, these uh, solid double uh, yellow lines to indicate that you should really not park in the roundabout not if you care for your life anyway so let's let's just create those lines as well i think i have a preset yellow double solid and as you guys can see we of course gonna have to adjust it quite a bit so is this i think this is all right let's see there you go and let's just change the opacity I want it to be more bright because I'm just gonna over overwrite these basically. So yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. So maybe we should have a line to also indicate, let's see, that you can actually do that. I think that makes sense. So let's just copy these dashed ones and we'll do this and we'll do that cool and here we have parking here so what we are actually gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna grab this yellow one copy it and then we're gonna add it here as well line it up there we go nice 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 and then if you guys remember um the way markings are done in uh, this region of conifera is that a solid line often indicates that you can actually park here so that's i don't know if that mimics any place any real place at least but uh, it's a thing we have here so we're gonna do the same and we're just gonna oh this is a really cool place for something else so we're gonna wait with that one and let's see here we're of course gonna indicate that you shouldn't try to do something stupid here mm -hmm. we're gonna add this and copy paste Yoink. See if we can just add this up perfectly. Seems we can. There you go. All right. Looks kind of cool, I think. Hmm. Let me see. Actually, this is only a single laner. Another two laner, so this one should probably go here actually. Yeah, it should. So we are just gonna change this ever so slightly. This, sorry, this, this one. What am I doing? Here it should actually just go there. And we'll move this one as well. There you go. And do I have two lines? I actually do. Hmm, 
Uh, it looks all right. It looks all right. So should we have? No. Let's just, let's just keep it like this. All right. We've got ourselves uh, one part done, I would say. Let's just copy paste so that we can fill in this one. So we'll do this and align. And we'll do the same down here and align. And I'm just what I'm doing here is I'm holding down control and then I can adjust it. Cool. Let's uh, yeah, let's get the dashed ones in. So if we copy the style of this one, then it's the simple dashed one. So we'll do this and just there you go. And now we can copy this entire part and just paste it. Oh, sorry. We can go up here and copy all the markings here, move to the next one and paste it. And we can say, okay, there you go. And we can move over here and do the same. And we should be able to move over here and do the same. And they're already aligned because they have the same values now. So far, so good. I, I, this is not really all that round, is it? Hmm. We can adjust that later, <laughs> but it's not perfectly round. Okay, now our work should be cut out a little more easy for us because we can, of course, uh, copy this entire part as well and move over here and paste it. And we can then turn clockwise. There you go. And we can move over here and we can do the same. And it's already perfectly aligned. Mm, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And here we can actually just, we can, uh, we can copy this section, right? And go over here and we can paste it. And it's, uh, it's all right. Aligned could be a, a little better and there's maybe there's an elevation issue here I can see so we can just select this control H and That moved it up to the same height as this node Right No, not quite actually It's interesting, but there we go. We're at the same height now at least and Before we go on we're just gonna make sure we have a crosswalk here so i select it and i hold down shift and i can drag a crosswalk uh across here and here we're just gonna do like this this guy's already parked on this neat little spot nice mm, let's see over here we've got we gotta do the same gotta do the same thing over here at this and it's all right i'll adjust it just a tiny bit here cool and then we can just copy paste it and turn this road a little pretty as well i think and we'll make our crosswalk and our end of parking markings ah uh, very nice very nice let's see what's uh, what's next all right let's let's do some detailing in here i think I should have these uh, roundabout thingies here. Would like uh, so that trucks could essentially drive up on these if uh, if need be. So I think if I place this one and make it a little bigger, or maybe I should actually just align the size of the roundabout for this one because I think our roundy boy is just a little too big right now. So hold your breath, hold your breath. We're gonna hold down Alt and that... that <laughs> okay, never mind. We're not gonna hold down Alt. We're gonna just freely move it. <laughs> never mind my clever tricks. We're just gonna freely move it. I think this is for the better. It's gonna make it a little more... A little more compact, which is, uh, which is not bad, right? And we're just gonna move this ever so slightly. Let's see. Do 
we like that? I think we do. There's a smarter way to do this, guys. I am certain of it. This, this is a little more manual that, than you would like, but uh, if that's what it takes to make it look nice, then that's how it is, right? Okay, cool. Of course, the question is whether the roundabout should really align perfectly with this. Um, hmm. But I think if we're supposed to do that, then we should turn... How tall is this? It's actually quite tall, right? Okay, so first we're gonna... Yeah, let's, let's adjust the roundabout to really hug this perfectly. Because then we're gonna turn the circle in the middle. Is that really the best term I can come up with? Circle in the middle. We're gonna, yeah, it is. Sorry, we're gonna turn the brick circle in the middle into a procedural object. And then we're just gonna uh, lower its height just a bit. Um, so the trucks could, some of their wheels could go on top of it if need be to get through the roundabout. I, I don't think it would be necessary for trucks, but um, just in case, right? So I wonder if I can just lower it. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. So I think this this height, this height is probably more fitting. So now I could actually adjust the roundabout even more. But let's let's just have a look at the scale here. Do we want to make it smaller? Um Should the roundabout be just a tiny bit smaller? No, I don't think so. I think this is fine, to be honest. It's still a little wonky up here, I think. Let's go with that for now. I think that's that's fine. That is fine. Thank. Okay, so next up, let's uh, detail up this bad boy a bit. We're gonna need, I, I would like to really detail it. So do we have some carnivores of some sort? Let's see. Should probably be some small trees. Um. This is perfect. Or is this perfect? Is it too tall? No, we're gonna go with this. All right, let's see. We'll place this centrally. Oh, nice. Spacing is a little off. Let's say every seven meters. So, and we'll just align it as perfect as we can anyways. Cool. And let's get some flowers going. I think we're gonna really, we're gonna really flower this one up. And there's these, this flower edge. I think these ones are pretty cool, so let's see. Yeah, they look great. Okay, we'll adjust the spacing. And we're just gonna align it perfectly. Let's get some prettier flowers in here. We'll go with a white now, quite a contrast. We'll go with a yellow. A 
that's fine actually. Do we have a red? We do. I'm just gonna have to move this, I think. We've got a blue here. This looks great. We've got a purple. maybe ah yes <sighs> that's beautiful I think let's see if we can grab like a statue or a sculpture of some sort I think I have something cool, maybe. Ah, this one. Wait till you guys see this one. It's pretty majestic. Should it be fixed like this? Ah, let's see. I like it. Now let's see, we uh, we did turn some stuff here, so is there anything we need to fix here? It's not bad actually, except that here we've got some stuff that's not really quite aligning. There you go. Nice. And I think I don't want all that much parking here, so we're gonna do something. I don't want parking here, rather. So let's just... Hmm. I think I've got an idea. Yeah, we'll make a filler here. With grass. And we're gonna drop the elevation. Like so, and let's copy it. We'll go over here, let's see. This one, but this one. <laughs> Got another filler now. And we want this to look sort of seamless with the sidewalk. So should I raise the elevation ever so, there you go. Ever so slightly. So that this looks seamless, there you go. We're gonna do the same over here, but we'll also need to just raise it a bit like so. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, then that's ripe for some trees as well. And I think I got just the tree. I've been using these uh, conifers. So we'll pick the slender boys now. One and two. And one and two. And just a little thing to uh, know, uh, be aware of when you're placing trees and you have the brush options. If your brush option is set to one, then pretty often when you just click once, you'll actually end up placing two or three trees at the very same spot. So that's, and that's something that can really tank your performance. So I think that's just something to uh, to be aware of. Uh, I don't know how much of a, of a tip it is, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something I care about at least because it can, it can really tank performance. So maybe if we can, let's see, can we copy paste this and just add it here? I think that could be pretty cool. We can. 
Nice, nice, nice. And make sure that this is seamless once again. Because then that's a pretty perfect spot for our conifers. There we go. Really nice. And I think we'll actually we'll make pa the parking situation e no we hmm Oh, there's already a node here, so we can copy, paste this, and add it here as well. Which I think I prefer. Yes, perfect. And we'll, of course, have to tell this poor fella that there's no parking here, my friends. There's no parking here. Uh, <laughs> and there's, of course, no parking here. <laughs> Very nice. And we'll add some conifers here as well. Drink. And drink. Should we do the same over here? I think we are we are gonna do the same over here. We are. So let's grab this one once again. And throw it in here. It's it's quite big, but uh, I think that's okay. And we're gonna tell these guys. I am so sorry. Go pay for it somewhere else. And here we can place three of these, and we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it. We are just gonna wing it. There you go. All right. So let's see, and uh, this one is a little dark, can we, we can make it a little brighter. Ah, this sculpture is so cool, man. So this has got to be like the, the signature animal of Coniferia, it has to be. Uh, yeah, if someone has a cool proposal for a backstory for, for why. Uh, the what it's the deer, right? Why it's so held in so high esteem in uh, the region of Coniferia? Then, man, feel free to throw in some role play in the comments, that would be cool. All right, let's see. I would like, I don't have, um, I don't think I have some good like signs currently that I can use procedural objects with, but I think I do have some pretty cool road markings though. Ront! No. What what was that? Is that a nice church? Church of Saint Ibrambos. I butchered that, sorry. We'll go with round and let's say decals. Ah yes, I grabbed these really cool ones. They are perfect. So let's see if uh, my peanut brain can keep up. So here we would like to indicate that you can either go straight heading towards the, the beach of Pine Harbor, or at least the, the downtown beach. Well, you can head towards the downtown beach or west beach, but you can also head towards east beach on the other side of the this small well, peninsula, I guess it is. So let's see, you can, uh, you can go left or you can go straight. Either way, you're going through the roundabout. So we'll do that like so. We put, now we just place one. Cool. And if you end up at the roundabout from this central road that kind of cuts through downtown Pine Harbor, then you can go, you can either go straight right, which uh, where you head towards the fishing harbor and the industry, uh, or you can go left uh, towards the beach areas, but of course then you will have to go the roundabout so let's add one there Is that a, yeah i think that's pretty much where maybe a, i got this correct surface so we're gonna move it a little like so cool and then we've got the the final directions this is if you come from the beach or lower downtown area and you want to either head straight to the fishing industry or even this uh, western part of downtown, or you wanna go straight into downtown. So 
that would be, let's see, where are we? This one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like so. Should we place two? They are kind of cool, right? Mm. I don't really know about that, though. Please go be correct somewhere else. Should we place two of these? Does that look more cool? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, all right. I think this is starting to look fantastic. Let's have some cinematic looks. So I use cinematic camera extended and I usually turn down the field of view a bit. And we could, uh, so let's see what time of day. It's early morning, so we could go tomorrow for midday, have some brighter colors. Let's have a look. I really like this look, I've got to be honest. Okay, let's adjust some traffic. Yeah, because the rules probably aren't followed right now. This doesn't matter. Okay, so you can either go here or here. If you're in this lane, you can only go out this way and here you can go both. When you're here, you can, you should probably be able to switch it up, right? Like so. And when you enter here, you can go like so. And if you are here, you can do like so. And here you can do both. Both. All right, I think that's about it. Let me know if I made a mistake here, guys. But I think that's what's sort on. Of Let's see, you guys want to see if we can get some traffic to pass through though. So let's just hit play. So a good pressure test, I guess, is these pretty large um, trucks coming from the industrial area. So let's see if this guy can navigate it or if he's really pressured for space. Nah, ooh, he's sort of clipping it here. <laughs> He clipped it just a bit. So we can of course just adjust this actually. So let's see if we we can make this a little smoother. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. To give uh, to give more room basically. So let's just do it. Make it a little more customized. I think that's really cool actually. I'm moving the wrong one. Please, Mr. Orange, go out the way. Yes, there you go. Cool, that leaves a bit more space and I think we should do the same here. I'm, I'm just gonna do it manually. I know I could copy paste some stuff, but uh, yeah. This adds a, a pretty custom look as well. I think that's really cool. And let's see, maybe we should just adjust, adjust, sorry, clumsy words, adjust this ever so slightly. There you go. And like so, should still leave amber room for parking. And we're gonna do the same over here. Is the orange go out of the way? Is this the red one? It is. Move it ever so slightly. Ah, cool. Okay, okay, let's have a look. We've got a, a garbage truck, I think, and uh, he's got no issue coming through. It's a white boy, a really, really chunker, but it uh, doesn't seem like there's any issue here. So let's see if we can get some more traffic through. And we got one of these fat boys as well. Let's see if he's clipping. No, perfect. Okay, so the traffic seems to flow really nice here. Okay, so to wrap up, I think we'll uh, we'll add some bullets. 
Uh, let's see which ones are the best. <laughs> which ones are the best fit? These are relatively modern, and I guess the, the roundabout looks pretty modern as well, right? So maybe though they are a good fit. These ones go here. And I'm hopeful I can copy paste these <laughs> to the other parts, but I'm not quite sure if that's gonna be possible. It it might not. Let's see. Let's go with that. Let's just go with that. Let's see if we can just make sure we only grab the props. And this is not going to work, but god damn it, we're gonna try. Ooh. Really? Really? I thought they were different sizes. Come on. click you know what that is not bad actually let's just see if we can adjust them a bit here so they don't clip through anything we're going with it <laughs> that was easier than i imagined Now these steel bullets, if, if you're wondering what they're for, they're, they're just to ensure that you actually die if you drive into the roundabout. Something here isn't working. Okay, so my luck ran out, I think. But it's uh, nothing that a little manual adjustment can't fix up, right? There you go. And we can align these ones as well manually. And they keep clipping on the ground each time I move them. Because I have this on. Uh, so I'm just gonna take them all and adjust them to the height of these. These seem to have the right height and so do these. You know what? This is this is good enough. Good enough for me. Cool. So just to wrap up the episode, we are just going to fix up a bit of this road uh, here because if you guys remember from the first couple of episodes, this is like a rural road because there wasn't any development here, uh, but now there is. So I would love to use uh, this road uh, throughout over here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna upgrade it and we'll see how much is deleted. Do I have, do I not have a two lane road with no parking? I would really hope I do. I'm just gonna upgrade and then we'll see. We'll have to deal with the fallout afterwards. So this is luckily pretty easy. We're just gonna grab some of our concrete and just place that again. Now, someone told me in a recent comment that there's an easy hotkey for just uh, fixing anarchy so that I don't actually have to place these. Or rather, they are not destroyed by roads and I already forgot it. So it's 
it's super embarrassing. If you're watching this video, then uh, please let us know in the comments what you actually instructed me to do so that we can all so that we can all feel embarrassed on my behalf. Because I was explicitly instructed on how to do something with anarchy so that I don't delete the concrete. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, so now we're just prettifying it a little bit. I don't want people to park here. It's just a too, too tight space, if you ask me at least. And just add the slightest bit of detail. I don't know what I'm doing. But it looks alright. And here we are gonna allow parking. So we do our classic dragging the straight lines. Should we have a cross rock here somewhere? I think here is a good spot and here as well. We need to be able to access the harbor. This is already looking much better than before. So I go like this. And we have, it looks a bit odd, <laughs> but I, I guess it works. Just doing some super simple line work here. To add a bit of character. Not that it necessarily makes all that much sense. Cool. I like that. We'll grab our conifer. Our coniferian conifer. Very nice. I think that's it. Oh. Final touches, of course. We're gonna disable parking. Sorry. Can't park here either. All right. I think that's it, guys. It's uh, it's time to hit up some, uh, some cinematics. Um, I am always looking forward to doing cinematics. So, uh, yeah. Um, one uh, final teaser. I think we're gonna have a vote soon on this park because it's a real prime location, right? So are we gonna keep this as a recreational space? Or will the city council of Pine Harbor prioritize something that might earn a bit more money short term? Um, and yeah, of course, if you didn't watch episode 10, then uh, please uh, just be aware that we are seeking proposals for this lot to develop something entirely new because um, the woman who owns these two buildings she's about to retire and she would like to cash out get that cash cash money so she's put this lot for sale and look at this location it's right in the heart of downtown so in the comment section of episode 10 i'll make sure to link it down below we are seeking as many proposals for new development here as possible and then when there are some cool proposals uh, we'll pick a selection and vote. Oh, sorry, I should correct that. <clears throat> Let me try again. I will pick what I find is really interesting. <laughs> and then we, as the city council, will uh, will vote. Yeah, there's, there's a limit to democracy here, guys. I'll be honest. But yeah, I'm really hoping for some cool suggestions. So uh, yeah, feel free. It's in episode 10. Link in the description. Other than that, if you like the content, then uh, feel free to subscribe, enable notifications, Throw me a like and write a comment. It really helps the channel uh, grow. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend or whatever it is when this is uploaded. Bye.